to another video. Uh, we want to look at the integration by partial uh, fraction. And the question, uh, we have a very simple one, uh, one uh, the integral of 1x squared minus 4 uh, change uh, of x. So this is just an example that we want to look at so that uh, when we uh, when you're given such equation uh, you make sure that you follow the procedure that uh, uh, we want to look at it uh, so let's look at the solution but before we look at the solution i want us to remind ourselves on something else here now if you have a fraction for example if you have one over five plus one over four then if you combine this uh, if you combine the two, then we normally find the uh, the LCM of 5 and 4, which is 20. Then this one goes here uh, 4 times plus 5. And we find this is 9 over 20. So in a partial fraction, that means we have a single fraction. Then we want to decompose it into two different, different parts. So that means now we have a single fraction, then we go back so that we can decompose, decompose it into two fractions. Yeah, so that is now what we want to apply here. Mm, so we have the integral, 1 over x squared minus 4, change in x. So the first thing is to decompose this one. Uh, but before we look at this, uh, if you're watching us, make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that the next time we produce a wonderful video just like the one you want to watch, then YouTube will automatically notify you. Let's go back here. So the first step when you're given such equation is to decompose. Make sure that you break uh, this one into two. And you know, whatever we have there, which is x squared minus 4, is the difference of two squares difference of two squares so when you look at the third identity of expression then you know that when we have a, a squared minus b squared then if you want to factorize this one you just take the square root of each and every element uh, which is the square root of a squared is a minus the square root of this one which is b which is b b squared i mean which is b then the other one takes the opposite sign now a plus b so when you multiply this one out you get that so that that is the third identity of uh, uh, expansion or factorization so that is now what we want to do here so that means here we have the integral of one over let's factorize that that is x uh, minus two then the other one just take the opposite sign change x so the second step here is to now put break this one and we break it into two so this means that i can say a over x squared uh, minus two plus b uh, x plus two so you can break it with that when you have a linear factor this is a linear factor this is a linear factor and that is a linear factor and when you multiply out you get a quadratic factor for example if you have a quadratic factor for example uh, x squared uh, plus 4 that's a quadratic factor if you want to break it then you're supposed to give it uh, two unknown for a x plus b so you the coefficients of x squared x must be there then another constant if you have a quadratic uh, factor but if you have the linear factor you just break it the way we've done it there uh -huh. so what can we do now here uh, this is actually you can integral of that each and every then we so let's proceed here so we have one over x minus two x plus 2 this one is equal to a over x minus 2 plus b x plus 2 so we can just omit the x then we shall put it later so for us to get we want now to to find a and b so for us to get a and b then we are going to multiply by this 
uh, LCM, which is our uh, this x squared my um, uh, x minus two into bracket x plus two. We multiply everything by this. So let's multiply by x minus two, x plus two. So when we multiply both sides, even this side, so this one will go there one. So we have one is equal to. So x minus two goes there. X plus two times we multiply by a. Then we have a into x plus two plus. Uh, this one goes there x minus 2 times then you multiply by b which is b x minus 2 I hope you're following guys Then this is now what we want But now We for us to get we have the two unknown values in one equation So if we have the two uh, 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 Unknown with one uh, two equation then you can use simultaneous But now here we have the two unknown with only one equation. So I'll say I'll make sure that I'll omit, I'll make sure that uh, uh, I put a value which is going to uh, make A or B to disappear, to be equal to zero. So that means if I put this X here to be two or negative two, uh, or if I put X to be two, then I'm going to eliminate B. You see, uh, I can eliminate to B. So say, let X to be two. So that is going to be 1 minus a into x, which is now 2 plus 2 plus b into x, which is 2 minus 2. So we have 1 is equal to, this is 4a, which is equal to 0 because b 2 minus 2 is 0, multiply b is 0. So that means a is equal to a quarter. Now the second one, the second one. Is again if I put if I put x to be negative 2 so I'm going to eliminate a so again let uh, let x to be negative 2 when we put x to be negative 2 then it's going to be 1 is equal to a, a into negative 2 plus 2 plus b to negative 2 negative 2 so this is going to be 0 then we have a1 is equal to negative 2, negative 2 becomes negative 4. Then we have negative 4b. So the b that we want is negative a quarter. Negative a quarter. So after getting a and b, then now we can now replace back. And now we have, we have the integral of a and our a is a quarter over x minus 2 dx plus our b and our b is negative a quarter over x plus 2 the integral dx very simple as such you guys mathematics is very sweet so uh, since now we know that the integral of 1 over is the natural log so that means i can take this negative uh, uh, a fraction outside and then then it becomes a quarter integral of 1 over x minus 2 change in x and also i can take this negative here so i have negative a uh, negative a quarter outside integral of 1 over x plus 2 change in x but let's remind ourselves again something here you guys that if you have uh, the integral the integral of natural log of x uh, I mean uh, 1 over I mean 1 if you have the integral of 1 over x then you know that is the natural log of x again if you have the integral of 1 over uh, uh, x plus 2 then you know that is the natural log that is the natural log of uh, 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 the, that is the natural log of plus x plus 2 but let's look at this. If you have integral uh, of 1 over 2x plus 3, for example, you guys. So this is, you, you take, this is 1, this is the natural log, obvious, uh, of 2x plus 3, but you divide by the derivative, you derivative of the denominator, and when you, uh, the, the, the derivative of the denominator is to that, so we have a half of natural log of 2x plus 3. So you are supposed to know that. So can we apply it, that here? So we know that this is, we have a quarter, then 
derivative, the integral of 1 over x is natural log, so that is ln of x minus 2 uh, minus a quarter ln of x plus 2 plus 2. But I can see a quarter and a quarter uh, is common, so we can take it out and we have a quarter uh, into bracket natural log of x minus 2 minus ln of x plus 2. Then, you know that second law of logarithm, uh, if you have uh, ln of a minus ln of b, then this one you take the ln, then you divide a, b. That is the law of logs. So that's now what I can uh, apply there. And I have a quarter uh, into bracket the ln of x minus 2 over x plus plus 2. And remember, if you uh, integrate, then you need to add c. You need to add c when you integrate. So this is the integral. That is the integral of 1 over x squared minus 4 change of x. You guys, that marks the end. If you've learned something, uh, please uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And may I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.